cage is a little framework I developed based on research in international economics, which suggests that how much two countries trade with each other is heavily influenced by whether they're similar or different along a bunch of different dimensions. And I just took those dimensions and grouped them under the rubric of an acronym, where C stands for cultural, A stands for administrative slash political, G stands for geographic, and E stands for economic, with the general idea being that not just trade interactions, but most kinds of interactions are usually dampened by differences along these dimensions and usually enhanced by similarities along these dimensions. And the effects really are huge. So if you think of merchandise trade, if two countries have the same official language, if they're part of a regional trading arrangement, if they share a common border, and if they have similar levels of per capita income, as in, say, both being developed countries, you might expect them to trade 10, 15 times as much with each other as two similarly sized countries that didn't enjoy those commonalities. So what we're talking about here is not just a statistically significant relationship, but a relationship that really is economically meaningful in the sense that the impacts are large. And the utility of the framework is, rather than simply leaving the discussion at every country is different, because there are a lot of countries out there, it gives you a little bit of a metric, albeit an imperfect metric, for trying to figure out, okay, you know, is Canada closer to home than Mexico is? Uh, and there are a number of dimensions when you run through the analysis why Canada is still the U.S.'s largest bilateral trading partner, even though it's only just about the tenth largest economy in the world. It has to do with these cage commonalities.